Hi, images are very useful and this video is about images or rather thumbnails that can be displayed on the printer screen if you use clipper screen and in the browser in Mensel along with the G-code files you uploaded. I will briefly explain how this can be achieved using the Kira slicer and other slicers and finally show how thumbnails can be added to your G-code manually. In Cura Slicer, there are two ways to deliver the thumbnails with the generated G-code to the printer. The first way is to add the create thumbnail scripts to the post-processing script. In fact, we should add them twice. Once to define a thumbnail resolution of 32 and 32 pixels and the second time with a resolution of 300 pixels in width and 300 pixels in height. These resolutions are recommended for performance reasons. You can define larger ones, but then it may take some time to render pictures in your browser, for example. The small thumbnails are used as a G-code file icons and the larger ones are used on the home screen in clipper screen, during printing and of course in complete tab of main cell and you can see also as a larger view of the file icon when you hover over the G-code files icon. The color of the objects in the thumbnails corresponds to the color that is assigned to the material selected when slicing the objects. It's defined in the preferences dialog box where you can define material attributes. When we save the G-code to disk and look at the what was generated, we see that there is a note that the thumbnails are generated by Cura Slicer and the thumbnail is stored there in a string representation. As we expect, there are two. The first one, larger one, with a resolution of 300, 300, and then with a defined resolution of 32, 32. Basically, the strings represents a PNG image encoded using Base64 encoder. When such G code is uploaded to the printer, the thumbnails are decoded and cached. I connect to my printer via SSH to see the cache. The thumbnails are located in the .tums folder which is in the folder where the G-code files are stored. So you can see for every G-code file uploaded with thumbnails, there are two PNG files. The Super Slicer and Prusa Slicer also have the ability to add thumbnails to the G-code. In Super Slicer, you need to enable Expert Mode and select the general category in the Printer Settings tab. The thumbnail sections will then appear. Here you can define the resolution of the small and large thumbnails. You can also define color. In Prusa Slicer, these settings are also in the printer settings, but in the general category and in the firmware section. Let's go back to Cura Slicer and remove the defined create thumbnail script from the post-processing script dialog box. The second way to deliver thumbnails from Cura is to save the resulting file as a .ufp file and upload it to the printer. UFP is shortcut for Ultimaker Format Protocol which is basically a zip file with a predefined directory and the file structure. So let's take a look at the zip file. You can see there is a thumbnail PNG file and when I open the picture, it has a resolution of 300, 300 pixels. You can upload UFP file to the Clipper based printer directly from Cura. For this, you need to install the Clipper Moonraker connection plugin from the marketplace. Once the plugin is installed, you should define the connection to your printer. For this purpose, you just need to set the URL. By default, the files will be uploaded in UFP format. After that, we can change the save to disk button to upload to printer. So here I have upload to Voron2350, which is the name of my printer in Cura. From now, I can upload the generated G-code directly. The files are uploaded to the top G-code files folder in printer. The last thing I want to show is the ability to add thumbnails to an already generated G-code that doesn't have them. I created a simple Python script that you can download from my GitHub. The link is in the description of this video. You must have Python version 3 installed to run it. I have the script here, an image that I cropped to a resolution of 400, 400 pixels. It is better to have a picture in the shape of a square and the script resizes the image as needed. And a G-code with a pin support challenge that I downloaded from Full Control XY Epsilon site. Adding thumbnails to the downloaded G-code is easy. Just run the Python script with two arguments, the path to the image file and path to the G-code file. Once the script is finished, the thumbnails will be added. When I upload the changed file to my printer, 
I see thumbnails are there. That's it. Leave me comments and if you found the video useful, subscribe and give like. Thank you for watching.